the, the only thing I would add at this time is just to put some specific numbers um, to the, the, the crime statistics. The Jamaica Constabulary Force statistics published up to Saturday, the 26th of August, 2017, shows that there have been 1,005 murders year to date. That is in less than the first eight months of the year. Just by comparison, you will recall that in the entire 2014, there were 1,005 murders. So we have already exceeded 2014's total for the year. And we haven't completed month eight yet. So, and that translates to 197 murders more than at the same period last year. And you will recall that last year was the highest year for murders since um, the Tivoli operation in 2010. And this year we're 24.4% or 197 murders higher. Um, a similar position in terms of shootings, 894 shootings. Um, year to date, up to the 26th of August, 156 more, or a 21.1% increase relative to last year. And many of the other statistics are going in the wrong direction. Increase in motor vehicles stolen, increase by more than 50% of the number of police fatal shootings. Um, which what this says is clearly there is not the increased figures are not because of a reluctance of the police to take on the criminal elements because we've seen a sharp increase in um, police fatal shootings. But the resource issue was made, I think, very poignantly by the um, senior superintendent in charge of Clarendon, um, Vendelin Cameron Powell where she said, although on the books, there are 618 police personnel assigned to the division in any single shift during the day, she may be able to put out 180 persons and at night, as little as 100. Now, 100 police personnel, when you deduct the amounts to man the stations, do guard duty at the, the lockups, etc., um, doesn't leave very many to patrol a parish of 300,000 persons um, where there are so many hotspots from Racecourse, Havana, Farm, etc. Um, way up into North Clarendon, Frankfield, etc. And therefore, with the best will in the world, um, it is going to be impossible for the commander to cover all the hotspot areas. So this just emphasizes a point that the opposition leader made in his budget presentation. I reinforced it in a sectoral debate. Is that all this talk without resources being um, sufficiently allocated to ensure that fighting crime is the number one priority. As it was identified not just by us, but the Economic Growth Council identified that it has a number one obstacle to rapid growth and development, but yet we don't see a commensurate um, prioritization in terms of the budget allocation and resource allocation and attention from the government more generally.